Bullets in the game. Tell her it's one now. How come I need rest? No 
recess on my schedule. Right. Mama used to serve vegetables, now half the meals got tentacles. Right. Half the errands need a reservation, and half my money goes straight to taxes. But I don't trip about it, that's what happens when you got dreams closer than a mansion. Plus, all your boys got expensive habits. Go. I know what they're thinking, they don't even gotta say it. No. They thinking they just made it. I know how to make everybody feel famous. famous. I don't gotta work no day shift. Day shift. I don't gotta split no payment. payment. I don't gotta answer questions. Right. And I don't need you to okay hey. it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay. I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay. All my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay. So when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now. Right pocket got euros. euros. Left pocket got pounds. Now. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Hey, hey, hey. EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston, in the Space City at NRG Stadium. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Entering player lock receiver screen, you have 18 options. Menu narration option is set to office selected. Menu unselected. Entering player lock volume control is selected. Entering options screen settings. Entering cancel pop up waiting for your peer to resume online game. Cancel. So first and 10 now from the 30. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's gonna be met and dropped behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A three yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. We'll throw over the middle, take it in. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it off. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 52 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Point after, up and good. And the 
decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. It had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, here's Watson. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. To throw on second and 10. Watson, the catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A game there of 21 yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into the passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up a touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you'd gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started and we should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. And that is incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Now a pass hauled in downfield. Touchdown, Houston. Kiki QT, 42 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are you going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. Premier also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the gun on third down, Mahomes is going to float this one deep. Oh, this cheesy ass shit. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Chiefs have taken the Cheap lead. Ass boys. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Tyreek Hill cheese. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Tyreek Hill cheese. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at the 20. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he'll find QT on the right side complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A huge play there for Houston. 49 yards through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On first and ten, Watson steps away to his left. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought it was good to race, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. That throw good for four. It's second down. To throw again on second down. Watson sliding out of the pocket. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. That is such Let bullshit. It's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. God damn, man. He violated a big time no no in throwing that pick. Rolling right, throwing across his body. And you know that your dad talks. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a good defender. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. And now out comes Houston. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? Into a double team. Man, come on, man. Picked off at the 20. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. Think it's intercepted. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. 
On second and 11 now. Mahomes, they're going deep for him. Look at nerves doing this same thing. And the defense all loses all him. It's complete. And all the way in so for a Kansas City bullshit. touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Same bullshit. Now they got down the first half touchdowns. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. Same glitchy ass plays. Extra point safely through. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 21. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, he's got him in one. Complete. A huge play there for Houston. 43 yards. But well, one thing's for sure. They're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your timing. Change your location. So sometimes you're up on him, sometimes you're back. Just change up the looks that he sees and make him just a little bit more hesitant. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Steps away. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Kiki QT with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Out of the gun, Watson. Flush to his right. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Tried to roll out, make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, Rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and they end up getting sacked. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They're starting to put some space here. The first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they looked really good. They jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, kind of cantering around a little bit, right? Trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Jadavian Clowney, his second sack of the night. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there. In the oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. Man, they were fucking nerves with this shit. The same fucking play here he got that time. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill on his way to a historic performance. Oh, damn. First half touchdown. All the fucking time. The same fucking way. The extra point up and good. The same fucking play here he got that time. She's successful. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a 
pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the same fucking blow. Very good damn time. What cheap that is. Out comes a Houston offense as they get sent Same to take over here. Play. Every under play. 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up second. And that's caught inside the 35. Same cheap nice play. Just time. 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Watson. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Now Watson throwing again. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by one fucking nerve. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on oh, EA damn, Sports. Man. It's in the game. Same glitchy ass Both play. Teams appear ready time. for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Same glitchy ass play. There we got no time. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10, at the 25-yard line. Here's Watson, from the gun, he'll throw, escaping the pressure right. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he Every goes. Time. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Flushed out right. Pressure too great, and he goes man. down once more. I was cheating, man. Now, Manu Agba in there to drop him in sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. Watson now to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. It's one. Look at open. Complete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. Why well, fucking open? On that, one, didn't we? that was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. Eluding the press, and he's going to have oh to my eat God. this one. Down he goes. It's cheap now. Chris Jones. And now possession it's will cheap. go the whole inside fucking game. the 15 yard line. Stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. But that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, when they get the defense moving in one direction, and when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. Taking on in for a Chiefs touchdown. From three yards out, the Chiefs the whole fucking head game. onto their lead. Oh, bitch. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get oh, some hell, breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter. Everyone's saying the exact game, same right, thing right, 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 right. in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, bitch. you know, second half, no matter what. Bitch, yeah, it's first bitch. five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. Now after the Man, touchdown, here's Butcher on the kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 26. From the gun, Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. 
And that's caught inside the 30. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Well Fuller, 74 yards. And the Texans get a bit closer. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. It's just fucking cool to cheat all of that back down. get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Mahomes. Caught Kelsey, left side. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. There defensively to knock it away was the safety, Justin Reed. Mahomes and the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Whitney Merciless. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Now the first down throw, Watson. And a catch made by Hopkins. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, and he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he's trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Watson operating from the gun. Buying time to touchdown, Texans. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No! Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On first down, Mahomes. This one complete to be Cole Hartman. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Houston. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. First down, a run with high. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle there by Brian Body Calhoun. 
run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Mahomes now on first down. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Jadevian Clowney bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes. And going deep for this is caught inside oh the 15. God, and he takes move. this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Same fucking play. Same cheap ass Chiefs. Same cheap ass yards. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Same cheap no ass play every goddamn time. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Bitch ass nigga. Now after the touchdown, play. here's got Butker on to kick it away. Tommy has a good one. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Watson now from the gun, he'll throw. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. Jordan Thomas, the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. Intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Forced out to his left. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. You know, I cheating over that one time. Keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Watson on the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counter-punch, hasn't it? Not well, but this time the big swing was taken and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. And he'll be down deep into Houston territory. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. This is caught. Rockets. Fuck you, bitch. Entering.